stick for a larger caliper uh, rootstock, we're going to use the bark grafting method, correct? That's correct. Uh, any tree that's about one inch up to about four inches in diameter would be ideal for uh, bark graft. This particular tree was about uh, somewhere between an inch and a half and two inches, and this is about the preferred size you'd like to graft. And uh, with one graft, you can convert this tree over to a uh, to an improved variety. All right. Well, show us how you do that. All righty. First, we need to take the top out of the tree, and uh, anytime you're cutting a tree, you have to be a little careful that you don't peel the bark down the tree. So we're going to back cut it about halfway, and uh, once we get about halfway through, we're going to move to the other side and uh, finish our cut, especially on the trees that are three to four inches in diameter. We have to be careful because we can peel this bark down the trunk and then your tree is not uh, going to be suitable for grafting. Once we get the top cut off, we need to select a piece of wood. And uh, this bark is a little thick, so we want to thin it down slightly. And we have to be careful not to go through too deep or go through the cambium, but just to make it where it's easier to get a good fit with our with our graft. And if you look from the top, you can see uh, the cambium is the little bit darker yes, section of it'll the be, wood. Right. And we'd like to have a piece of wood that's about six inches in length. And we'll make our pattern cut about two inches long. And the smoother that we can get this cut, the more chances are that this graft will grow. So what we want is a good smooth surface here and we're going to turn the graft over and, and make a little chisel cut on the back. And then we're going to rake a little bit on the sides and you're going to expose a little bit more of the cambium, which mm -hmm. is right here on the edge. And the most important part of this graft is to get a good tight fit on either side. We want to make a cut down about one inch on either side. And then we remove the graft and make a little expansion joint right in the middle. Then with the tip of our blade, we can, we can pull the bark loose. I like to put my thumb against it and use the back of my knife to tap it down. And we want to stop with about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of the exposed cut wood above the tree. Once we get to that point, I take the tip of the the uh, deal and, and cut off about the top half an inch of the bark. And so that flap is going to help uh, hold the piece in along with... Uh... Then we'll use one nail. This, this little nail is a number 18 that's uh, three quarters of an inch long. And we'll, we'll attach it about a quarter to a half an inch below the top of the tree. And with a small hammer so we don't beat up the wood, we'll drive the nail in until it's just flush with the wood. This supports the graft. The next step we are going to do is we're going to use a piece of aluminum foil. And we prefer to use the shiny side out. And we'll form this around the tree and around the top of the graft. This reflects the heat away from the graft and keeps it damp and keeps it cool until the graft can grow in. Then we use a, a standard fold type, fold top uh, sandwich bag. We pinch the corner out of the bag, put it down over the graft, and we attach the top, secure the top with a, num with a rubber band, a small rubber band. These are number 19, and by being careful not to knock any of the buds off, we can tighten this up and, and keep it to where it seals the top of the graft. The next step is we want to use a piece of, we use one inch masking tape and we tape the bottom to hold the bottom of the bag secure to the tree. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to use what we call a bird perch that uh, will help to protect 
from a bird coming in and lighting on the grass that could jar the grass loose from the tree. So we're going to tape this on and uh, it also makes a, a good place to anchor our, our new growth on our graft when it gets up six, eight, or ten inches tall so that it doesn't blow out from a hard wind. The last step that we'll do on this graft is we, we use an amber shellac and we paint the whole graft, buds and all. This helps to seal the moisture in the graft and keeps it from drying out. We should see the bud swelling within 10 days to two weeks and within three weeks we can see little leaves starting to form on this graft. So uh, it won't take long to, to know when you're going to have a successful graft. And when do you remove the plastic and the foil? Okay, normally we'll come back about the middle of July <coughs> and we're going to have some buds break out up and down this trunk. We want to remove some of these and we also want to make sure that none of the lower branches extend above the graft. So if we have, if we have a branch that, that's actually up taller than the graft, we want to remove those mm -hmm. to where they, uh, the main energy from the root system is feeding the graft itself. They can be choked out and it can cause your failure of your graft if, it, if you've got a limb that extends much higher than the graft. So it'll take about two to three years for that scion, the growth of that, to catch up to the trunk of our rootstock. That's correct, and we want to take all the lower branches off of the tree within that two to three year period, and we can kind of expect nuts from this tree within four to five years.